Hi again, welcome to the third video on the GS boiler gun. And in the last video I, I forgot that I did promise you to show you how to get the piston from out of the tube, you know, when you want to give it a good clean out. So that's where it situates. After each run, like the one I've just done, that's where the piston ends up there. Now that's in there tight. That's tight that is in there, and that's how it needs to be. But you think, well how the hell can you get that out? It's dead easy. What you want is a nice bit of timber. Like that. What's that about? Three foot long I think. Just slide that over the tube. A bit of fence post to do, round fence post. Put that over there like that, just hold the tube and give it this. And there it is. Out. No problem. Quick as that. I've got plenty of seals for the pistons. Thousands of them. So if you need to contact me to repair your piston or you need some seals but you'll be contacting me after about 50 years because I think that's how long it'll last before they ever need replacing and uh, valves you might feel that you want to put another valve on there as a bleed off valve like in the other in the other type that I did but again just contact me with your requirements and I can soon thread and put another valve in like that no problem every gun that you get I'll give you some notes There's a couple of pages on notes there that um, it's good to keep to. But you always have my website, uh, my email address, so you can contact me. As I say, you're not lost once you've got the gun. You can, um, you know, you might want a bigger one, you might want a longer one, you might want, I don't know, an extra piston. All it needs is just a contact, but please, like I said, don't don't text me, it'll just drive me by me. Um, you know, if any emails, you've emailed me, I'll email you straight back. No messing about. Um, well, I hope I've covered everything. Um, I'll be letting you know as soon as I get these. I've had loads of requests for these rollers. But if I do get some more, um, I'll definitely be putting them on the uh, on the uh, for sale part. Uh, that is it. I think I've covered everything. Don't forget when you take your piston out and give it a good clean. Oil, just a bit of cooking oil or anything like that on the edges. And on the tube, really, there's only one end to put the, the piston in, because I've counted more metal out of there to allow for this. Uh, what I do, I mark it with a black, there's a black mark there, so you know which end to put the piston back in. It all just helps instead of struggling in, in the other end. So don't forget please contact me by email and I'll be happy with that. Thanks so much for watching the videos and I thank the guys that have bought my guns and are really happy with it. Some big companies and some small companies. Uh, I thank you guys and uh, you, you've had some nice kind uh, emails from you fellas and uh, it really is appreciated. So thanks ever so much. Bye now.